Hello, this is Dr. Dave from First Sec MRI, and I'm just going to show some images of a normal anatomic variant of the colon. So this is the right colon. It starts here. This is the cecum of the pouch at the very beginning, the small intestine, the ileum drains right into the ileocecal valve. Here's the cecum. This is the ascending colon, and it makes a loop over to become the transverse colon. But we can see that the position of the cecum in this patient is normal. It's in the right lower quadrant. The appendix comes off here, the tip of the cecum, and this is close to the level of the iliac crest here. So just a normal anatomy. Now in this patient, the colon sits lower. This is the transverse colon here, coming sideways. This is what we call the hepatic flexure. This is the liver. The colon makes a little loop here, and it comes down. And in this patient, the cecum is down here going into the pelvis, so much lower. This is the iliac crest here. So this patient just has a, a position where the transverse colon sweeps low, and then the cecum is down in the pelvis. This patient does not have much fat, so the colon is pretty hard to define because there's not fat separating the loops. Another patient here, we can see the transverse colon is very high in position. If the patient had it very low down here, this patient it comes obliquely up here. So a different position, there's a little bit of redundancy. This is that hepatic flexure where it loops up and it comes down, so this is the cecum. Right here is in the cecum, so the bottom of the cecum is about right here, so pretty normal position. This is the iliac crest here. We can see how much variability there is in anatomy. Sometimes the colon will come down and in this patient loop back up and come down. Here's another example of just the anatomy, how different it can be. This is the cecum, nice and normal position. In this patient we can see the small intestine coming in, plug into the ileocecal valve, they have a lot of intra-abdominal fat, so all the colon is easily seen, outlined by the fat. And again, the cecum is normal in position, the iliac crest is about here. We see the ascending colon. We see the looping here around the hepatic flexure, kind of a high hepatic flexure. And then it loops around like this, comes back sideways. It's very rare for it to come back this direction. Usually it comes across sideways. This patient has a redundancy of the transverse colon, so it comes down, loops around, comes way down here, down lower, and it comes way back up over here. So a redundant transverse colon that loops down. But you can see that the cecum is in normal position. Now this patient had right lower quadrant and pelvic pain. And we see the transverse colon here, loops up. And we can see the cecum should be about right here, close to this iliac crest. But now we see that this patient has a redundant or elongated low colon here. The cecum is down here in the pelvis. So we had to do some additional images to look at that. But you can see how far off this is. Instead of being here, it's way down here low. And uh, upon re-imaging here, we see the transverse colon, the, D, the ascending colon here, and the cecum, the very bottom of the colon is right here. And this is the bladder, so the cecum is pushing on the bladder. If we go to another view here, this is the uterus. It's getting pushed to the left. Normally the uterus is in the middle, but instead it's pushed off to the left. And if we look on axial images, we see here in the front, this is the rectus abdominis muscle. This is the uterus. We see the cecum way down here low in the pelvis, right where we should see the ovary. But the ovary is getting pushed backwards by the uterus. This is the right ovary right here. I'm sorry, it's getting pushed back by the cecum. So the cecum is pushing it backwards, filling this space. And again, this is the uterus pushed to the left. And in this case, we're wondering if when the colon is distended, it's not causing some pressure or fullness in the region that may account for their symptoms. Their appendix is this little dot here, so their appendix look normal. And if we follow this cecum upwards, we're going to follow it into the inguinal region. This is the inguinal region. And right over here is the right inguinal region. They have very little intra-abdominal fat, so um, we've had a couple patients where they could feel a mass. They were worried about a tumor. It was just the colon that was low in position right here. This is the psoas muscle, and this is that colon abnormally low in position, and again, it can cause a uh, sensation of fullness, especially when it gets distended with stool. And in this case, it may even be causing some other symptoms with the uh, mild mass effect on the um, pelvic structures here. But no evidence of appendicitis is what they were worried about, and uh, thank you very much.